Well, it's nearly Christmas time again, and I just want to start this video by reading a verse from Acts 20, 35. In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work we must help the weak, remembering the words of the Lord Jesus himself, who said, It's more blessed to give than to receive. Now, are you someone who thinks about sometimes doing something nice for someone, but then doesn't follow it through? If so, it's nice that you thought the thought was there, that you thought about doing it, but if you never acted on it, then that person never knew anything about it. And I can say that because I'm someone that sometimes does that. I think, oh, it would be nice to do this, it would be nice to do that, but then I kind of get over the thought without ever doing it, so the person's none the wiser. Now, it's easy, easy to take those who are closest to us for granted and to assume that they know how much we value them, but it's important that we do show it. This is not just about giving presents, although at Christmas it's nice to give presents, but there are many ways in which we can give to people that has nothing to do with presents at all. It could be time, it could be money, it could be a listening ear, an offer to babysit, and there's so many things, aren't there? In fact, if you want to have a really good Christmas, rather than think about all the things you want, I've got a suggestion, which is, as you meet together with your friends and family, try putting others first. If you haven't already experienced the truth in these words, it's more blessed to give than to receive, then try it and you'll, you'll see it does work. Be a blessing to others, and by doing so, you let them see the Lord who blesses you, and that he wants to bless them too. For example, maybe you could take time to help your little nephew put his new toy car together, or to wash up for your nan, or perhaps to be the one who puts your own desire to fall asleep in front of the telly on hold just for an hour or so to play with the children to give someone else a break. This may seem like really small things, but they bless someone else. They can ease someone else's burden, and the Lord sees that, and he's pleased. He can touch people through you. And I'd just like to share something personal that has stood out to me in the past, and it stood me in good stead for avoiding disappointments on special occasions. So I can remember, in years gone past, feeling disappointed on my birthday, when things haven't been exactly how I wanted. I haven't got to do all the things that I thought I should have, because it was my day. And, and what I've learnt is that, well, of course it's good to enjoy your birthday, focusing on yourself too much, especially to the exclusion of others, isn't good. See, the principle being discussed here comes into play again. It's more blessed to give than to receive, even on your own birthday, or even when you want to be enjoying yourself. So instead of focusing on yourself and your pleasures all day, whether it's your birthday or Christmas or another day, be a blessing to someone else, and then you yourself will enjoy the blessing that comes from serving others. So this Christmas, have a great time. I hope you do enjoy your Christmas. But don't forget to make time for your family and friends. Don't take them for granted or forget all the times they've helped you. And most importantly, don't take God for granted. Make time for him too.